Turn this on. Here we are. We're at Don's place. Wow. Don's place in wow. Sherman Oaks yes. for Don Sherman. It's a long time to get out of here. Oh, this is fantastic. We got the pool in the background. We're out in the patio. It's a beautiful Sunday. How long has it been since we did the last one? Yeah, gosh, Too about long. yeah, three weeks, four weeks, I guess, since well, our last uh, hit at it. And on YouTube. Where's Don? I think the last time we did it, my father-in-law was here. Yeah. My hundred-year-old father-in-law. Yeah, what yeah. a sweetheart he was. Yeah. His, what yeah, he I pitched in for Jack, you know, and uh, uh, <laughs> Jack wasn't I'm around. He was old, he had an attitude of a 20 year old He was bright. He yeah, was right, yeah. He's, he's having a great day today, too. Uh, when New York is just it's nice in New York? It's beautiful, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's starting to uh, become spring now. David, don't, don't you want to sit down? That could no, we're, in you're, you're totally in uh, focused winter, here. In the middle of winter, that could happen in New York. You're walking down the street. All of a sudden, nice, yeah. yeah. In the middle of winter. Well, in the middle of winter, what my wife and I do, my first wife, we'd go out to Brighton Beach and sit in these beach chairs and sit there with the sun reflectors. Uh -huh. She always wanted people, she'd get a tan, and she always wanted people to think she had been to Miami oh, or someplace yeah. and she had a tan. She'd go to I don't work know if that's good for your sun, the sun reflectors. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I don't do it. I wear a hat. My skin doctor said wear a hat, you know. But you guys are you're still good. wearing it. How long did he say to wear it for? It was Whenever like, you're in the sun. He always wears his own. Yeah, that's a Frank McCord hat. You're going to have to get the <laughs> new uh, Magic Johnson hat. Yeah. Well, one good thing they did was they uh, lowered the parking from 15 to 10, which is good. That's good. That's uh, Frank fair. gets 10 now instead of 15, you know. Yeah. Well, after all, he got two and, two and a quarter billion. I guess he could afford to drop the parking it's rates. It's amazing yeah. that, that the most important real estate in New York is uh, parking garages. Yeah, I think so. The most lucrative field. Yeah, you make more money on that. You just pay a couple of Puerto, Puerto Rican guys to collect for you, and that's it. What about those guys that stand in a parking lot or space waiting for their friend to come around to <laughs> yeah. get that spot? I, 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 I had a, a parking situation in New York where I lived on uh, 48th Street and I used to park in the 70s. Because you can park there for two hours. So I had to get up at 11 o'clock, drive out, and take a cab. You have to go back and forth to, every two to, hours? To, to, to move the car to the other side of the street. You know? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Remember that? Did you have to do that? Yeah, yeah. I never had a car in New York. I don't know how you get it. But it was expensive. right down in front. Oh, right yeah. Right down in front. But around the corner, uh, there was a there was a parking lot, and I made friends with the with the old guy, and he gave me a break on it, and I, I would park there. But, yeah. but later on, when I went back to New York, I left a car in Chicago where it belongs, you know, and uh, and no car for for New York City for me. Oh well, I had my car for the club dates in the Catskills, but I got got my bike. In New York. You ain't gonna get to the Keskus on your bike. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you could. Right. You'd just be a little dead by the time you got there. I missed a good thing. I know. I, know, I never understood guys who could ride their bikes. I could never ride my you bike in the city. go through Manhattan? Oh, they're like crazy. I, I get scared. Yeah, right? Unbelievable. Yeah. I, I, I grew up. I had a bike in my little town, but the big city. I don't know. I'd they be have frightened no too. Fear I don't know how I survived. Oh yeah. yeah. Knowing what I know now, yeah, I wouldn't be on a bike in New York. Not at all. Friend of mine had a had a business. He had the Spurt Messenger Service, and he had five offices. Those guys used to zip in that, in that office with those ten-speed bikes, or whatever. They were. Well, yeah. my first job in New York was a messenger service. A quick. Quicksilver messenger service. Are you that good a, 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 a bike rider? They didn't have that much when I was there in 63, uh, 41st and 5th. If you had to deliver a message within 10 blocks, you walked or you took the subway or the bus. You know, that was if it was a long one. The subway is fast. Yeah. It is fast. Are you a biker? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I. I I'm very cautious with my life. Up until recently, I got a little reckless. <laughs> I had an English racer one time when I was like 11. I have an accent? 
What happened was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As you know, it was an English race. How did he know he had an It said Cheerio. <laughs> you know the bags of your uh, saddlebags? The newspapers. Oh, yeah. I stuck my foot yeah. in it and I twisted it up like a pretzel. That first uh, front wheel, that made me sad. Oh, what happened? You know how you have your newspapers in those little bags on the side yeah. there? And I yeah. cut my foot in it, one of those, and it twisted the front wheel uh, around my bike. Oh, you thought you were on a horse. I delivered, I delivered uh, papers of Rocky Mountain News on a horse, too, in my little town, wow. Mansonola, Colorado. Yeah, the, is that wild? Yeah. But, you know, I mean, today a bike is really expensive, right? You could spend $2,000 on a bike, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Did, 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 did you see not, that? Not yeah. me in particular. No. You, you know, wouldn't do that. I have, a, well, I have a limit, you know. Generally, the bike is stolen before <laughs> before you not realize it. That's another thing you learn. Do you ever have a skateboard? Uh, no, 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 but we, we, we made our own out of a two by four. If we had a pair of skates and, and, and the wheel went off or something, we would take off the rubber thing and, and, and attach it to a two by four and then put an apple box in there and then a couple handles on that. And a couple yeah, handles yeah, on that. Yeah, that was great. And we'd have the Pepsi or the Coke things and we'd nail that and, and, and make a, our, our initial on it, you know. That was great. And what did I I'm wipe it on the animals. Them. One of the apple boxes had a had an actual um, uh, shelf in there. Or maybe that was oranges. Yeah. I don't know. Here's what I did one time, Jack. Oh, we, we made fancy ones. We painted them with flashing handles like horns. Oh, Jesus. We gave them names. Uh, we had contests. Wow. Oh, you're kidding. It was a big thing. That was a vehicle. Here's what I did one time, you know, Christmas, a little kid, I'd get like new pair of Levi's and my little town, we'd grab a hold of the back of a bumper and it'd be snowy yeah. and you're being dragged along. Cars, All yeah. of a sudden we had a dry spot, boom. My, I go down uh, and I, I'm being, I couldn't let loose and I'm being dragged and I end up with two holes there. Uh, I ruined my new pants and then I had two big deep holes there. Uh, but you're, I wasn't smart enough to let go. I just, those holes, you know. Yeah, but you know, nowadays they pay extra for those two holes on jeans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you go down to Macy's and, yeah, you know, that's $100 for the holes. That. I will never understand to my dying day how these beautiful, elegant girls spend $10 million on makeup and they got two ripped holes in they want to look Old funky. CD jeans. Right? Funky, funky. Yeah. I get a spot. I remember one time I bought a Tommy Bahama shirt. We went to yeah. Serenata de Garibaldi and there was like a tree. And I spilled a, something dropped on me. I got home and I didn't have sense enough to take it to Peter's in West Hollywood to get the stain removed. Oh, you tried to do it, it yourself. Oh, you threw, threw it away. away. Oh, yeah, they get it out. to have stains or things. They, you know? They'd get it out. Yeah, they get it out. I take stuff there. Yeah, I can't not. believe it, They what they get out. Yeah. What's that? Stains. Oh, a place called Peter's Magnolia yeah, Cleaners oh, yes. are great. <laughs> Where's that at? It's uh, Sweetser, right around Sweetser. Santa Monica Boulevard. Here's an ad. Peter's Magnolia, Sweetser, and Santa Monica Boulevard in West Hollywood. They'll get your stains Can out. They get the stains out of your conscience. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's a service. That's why I saw <laughs> Mitzi Gaynor there. She was having her stains removed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like to go in sometimes after I shave to the cleaners and I say, I'm clean like my conscience. They look at me like you this. Shave the cleaners? You when I go in there, I talk to them. Do you have a barber there? In the cleaners? Yeah. They clean me up. No, oh, but you always look clean. Look You're clean. a clean guy. Do you shave every night? Shave every day. I'm not sure what Snyder is there. I have to comb my mustache. Days, days the light part. Yeah, your mustache is trim up. Yeah, do you ever trim your eyebrows? Uh, no, no. Oh, he's got great hair. No, you don't want to do that, he huh? Do all kinds of things. That's the mother load. I, I need those eyebrows when when the stick-up man uh, <laughs> when it tied me up uh, in, in, in the house and, and left me there tied up. I kicked the chair over and with my eyebrows I crawled over to the phone. You know. And you dialed the phone <laughs> with your eyebrows. With yeah. my nose. Oh, with your nose. That's okay. the money shot. The directors say that's the money shot. Yeah. Well, if you ever lost your hair on top, you could just grow them longer and comb them back. You know? <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Yeah. A friend of mine you have a pompadour. Don Calf, Italian guy, you know him, and he had buggy eyes, and he would, people would hire him for that, right? So one time he took an ad out in the reporter, the back page of the reporter, and he just had, like, his eyes. I said, why don't you let him see your whole face? He said, no, the only reason they hire me is for my buggy <laughs> eyes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy Hackett, you know. Yeah. He's a funny guy. Yeah. Well, guys, what's the word of the day? The word of the day. Reunion. 
Reunion. Reunion. Reunion. Wow. Well, here's the first show at Don's Swimming Pool. Stay tuned for the next show coming up tomorrow.